I call to order this meeting of the Warren County School Board for Wednesday, December the 4th, 2019. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Is there anyone who would like to address the board? Community participation is the time intended for the public to give input on relevant school issues and not intended to be a question and answer period, as this may be the first time the board has heard this information. Please do not expect an individual response or any comment by the board at this time, but be assured that any concerns will be reviewed. Please print your name on the sheet at the podium, state your name and address, and limit your comments to three minutes. My name is James Parker. My address is 3658 Rockland Road in Front Royal. Ms. Chairman, Chairwoman, and school board members, congratulations to the new school board members and thank you to the retiring members for serving. Sometime members might disagree with my comments, but conversation should always be civil and I'm always open to discussing my comments Ms. Bauer, it's my hope that we'll change your opening statement and have a dialogue or discussion with folks who take the time to appear instead of saying members will not comment. When I last appeared on August 7, 2019, there was discussion about the tennis courts at Skyline High School. When I attended a football game this season, I looked at the tennis courts and it does not take a rocket scientist to understand why you continue to have problems. The courts are built next to a hill and water runs off and until you remedy that problem will continue. You might try French drains to catch the runoff water. On July 3rd, 2019, I spoke and listed several questions and Ms. Bauer was nice enough to reply. Our first question was about failing schools. Ms. Bauer replied that this was not correct. On my visit August 7th, 2019, I said, Ms. Bauer, you were wrong and offered the State of Virginia website that lists every school in the state and their accreditation status. Virginia Department of Education's school accreditation ratings webpage. See the spreadsheets at the bottom of the webpage under the heading School Accreditation Reports. I'd also like to offer the Northern Virginia Daily on October 2nd, 2019 that lists two schools below state standards. My point is, let's be honest with each other. And if I say something, it's because I've researched it, and I hope that you will do the same. My visit on August 7th, 2019, I said that it would be nice to have a technical school to meet the needs of children who do not plan on attending college. Yes, I know we have a small technical school offering, a few different classes, but I'm talking about teaching classes on refrigeration, HVAC, plumbing, and so forth, and even a simulator, just like Lord Fairfax College, for training tractor trailer drivers. After reading the articles about attendance rates at Skyline High School, maybe we'll rethink my suggestion. It's obvious that something is wrong at Skyline. My guess is half the children will attend some form of higher education after high school. So what about the other half? What happens to those children who drop out or do not have any skills after leaving school? I know that there is a shortage of men and women to serve as furnace and air conditioners. Teaching a child in that profession will give them a good salary. They become taxpayers, not filling up our jails. I'm sure we can all agree that children not in school with nothing to do is not good for our community. 
My next question was about Greg Drescher's compensation. I asked if you compared his salary and that of other superintendents in the area. Ms. Bauer, you answered, we don't collect that data. I was shocked and wondered how you decide how much to pay someone. Well, we just, well, just so you know, Warren County paid Greg Drescher $45,000 more than the superintendent of Shenandoah County schools. Shenandoah County has more schools and a larger student population, and he also has his PhD. My other comment on July 3rd, 2019 was about his salary. The school board, for some reason, gave him a $12,000 cost of living raise. He was under contract, and yet you feel this was money well spent. To top this off, Mr. Drescher resigns, and this board decides to pay him through the end of the year at taxpayers' expense. You must think this county has unlimited money to spend. If you'd have taken that $45,000 and the $12,000, you'd have given 47 other teachers a $1,000 raise. That's just a thought off the top of my head. Warren County recently held an election. A new board of supervisors were elected, mainly because of malfeasance within the EDA. I'll be asking the board of supervisors to take control of your spending, or at least sign off on spending. In my opinion, your spending needs oversight. It is no wonder why teachers leave. They see bonus money paid for putting a new roof at Rusty Jeffries instead of waiting a couple months and doing in the daytime. Mr. Stanley said it would only cost 30000 more to do it at night, but I've heard a much higher figure. I'm still flabbergasted that this board gave someone a $12,000 cost of living raise and paid this person another six months when he resigns. I challenge you to find one other person in Warren County that got that deal. In closing, it would be nice if Warren County High School Band to perform a tribute to Harry Parker at the next homecoming game. As some of you do not recognize his name, he was a longtime band director and he did a wonderful job. Thank you for listening. Good evening. Congratulations to those of you who are retiring. I know you are looking forward to that and having your Wednesday evenings um, available. And congratulations to our new school board members. As you know, I am Kim Oakland. I am the president of the Warren County Education Association. I would like to, first of all, explain, as you know, we talked last month about the Red for Ed and the Jeans fundraiser for the endowment. I do not have a figure yet for you for the endowment as we are still collecting money. And that will also be split with the um, Education Association's scholarship fund. We do two $500 scholarships, um, one at each high school. Uh, the second thing that I wanted to say is we are going to uh, be doing, we participated in the um, community uh, forum for the, for the candidates. Uh, we volunteered and we did some work with that. So I just wanted you to know that WCEA is, is active in the community in that way. Um, I basically was just here to say, we're here, we're doing it, we, <laughs> and we appreciate all of your support. Um, I don't normally do this, but I just wanted to make one observation on Mr. Harper's comment. I'm a teacher at Ressy Jeffries, and the roof, we used to have to keep trash cans, the big trash cans in the hallway every time it rained. The roof needed to be replaced. Anyone else? My name is uh, Phil Hong. 
Um, though I'm not a Warren County resident, I do work for the Laurel Center. Uh, I'm their prevention, sexual assault prevention specialist. I work alongside another prevention person. Uh, I just wanted to introduce myself to the board, both those leaving as well as those coming in. Um, and I wanted to extend an opportunity for us to speak and get to know each other, as well as to see how we um, at the Laurel Center can best work with the schools in bringing in some prevention programming and helping <coughs> to not only improve uh, the youth resilience in the community, but also help to reduce the uh, presence of violence that we often see in our news. And, and unfortunately, from another report, uh, in I believe July of this year, there was a Northern Virginia Daily report that showed an uptick in Warren County reportings of sexual assaults. So any number, regardless of what it is, is something that we hope to reduce. And I hope to be able to speak further with those of us here and extend that opportunity to help foster our community here. Thank you. Anyone else? No? Presentations. 2019-2020 Warren County Educational Endowment Grand Board. Mr. Stanley. Madam Chairman, members of the school board and staff, good evening. My name is Doug Stanley and I'm the president of the Warren County Educational Endowment. First, I want to say thank you to Mr. Keithran, Mr. Rosen for your service. Uh, to this board. I like to thank that over your tenure that um, we've been able to make some strides not only in facilities but also in addressing some of our staffing needs, particularly salaries with uh, phase one implementation this past year and uh, hopefully you'll stay involved in the community. Um, I wanted to uh, read off the names of the members of the Educational Endowment Board, some of whom are here this evening. Uh, Melanie Barber, Joanne Sherefko, Carol Dodson, Joe Silek, Mark Bauer, Chuck Huber, Mark Jordan, Jeannie Ann Clark, Mary Ann Biggs, John Marlowe, George Carnes, Tom Pattison, Charlie Sackett, Sue Ann Fox, and our ex-officio, Ellie Shepard. Um, these individuals give a lot throughout the year to support the public school system, um, whether it's helping out at events or, or making donations or helping solicit donations from people in our community, so I wanted to recognize them. It is the endowment's aim to provide community support for the enormous energy put forth by our teachers, students, staff, and parents to ensure that the graduates of Warren County Public Schools have an enhanced ability to lead successful lives. Our mission is to serve as the catalyst for the continuing improvement of the learning environment in our schools by funding projects that are sponsored by the school system and consistent with its mission and direction that initiate sustained improvement in the fundamental capability of the school system and enhance the attractiveness of the community through the promotion of educational excellence. It is our goal to grow the corpus or principal of the endowment to two and a half million dollars, which would generate an estimated 125,000 plus a year in grants to support public education here in Warren County. The corpus of the endowment is invested in the income is used to directly assist in promoting creative efforts to foster educational excellence for the children of Warren County. The endowment believes that sometimes it takes private support of public efforts to incubate an idea or approach that helps students compete in a global marketplace, instills passion for lifelong learning, and sparks a vision to stretch for success. The Warren County Educational Endowment um, has awarded 10 grants uh, this year, totaling $44,411.74 for Warren County Public School System. Grants were awarded for the following projects. Breath of Life, Jane Baker, Warren County High School, Skyline High School, and, and Blue Ridge Tech Center, $3,040. The grant will be used to purchase adult mannequins, CPR rate monitors for sports medicine, and nurse assistant classes. CPR training and certification testing is now required for sports medicine and nurse assistant students. Neither high school has the proper equipment and the adult mannequins at the tech center no longer meet required specifications. The ability for the schools to provide their own CPR trainers with equipment will cut 
cost of outside parties providing these services. Guitar Methods course, Beth Whitney, Warren County High School, $4,933.79. The goal of the project is to establish a guitar program at Warren County High School. Skyline High School already has a program, so this would extend the opportunity to each and every high school student in the system. It would also expand on the ukulele and guitar programs at some of the county elementary schools. The guitar program would give students an opportunity to expand their higher level creative thinking skills. Interact Streamer, Removing Communication, Learning Barriers, Amira Lanterman, Warren County Public Schools Special Services, $3,900. The project will provide real-time access and improved academic success for students with barriers to communication and classroom instruction. <coughs> Interactive Streamer is a streaming speech-to-text caption system. As a teacher speaks, there's an instant transcript available for the student to follow along with the lecture in real time. Interact Streamer provides a voice to students who need it. As a student types, there's an instant text-to-voice dictation for the rest of the class to hear. Interact Streamer is a translator that directly translates con conversations to and from a variety of foreign languages. Interact Streamer requires website, teacher microphone, and USB receiver, all included in the annual subscription. The Moore County Public School Chromebooks are compatible with the system. Keeping fit with Chromebooks, Sarah Putnam and Betsy Walker, Warren County High School, $1,299.95. This grant will fund a resource for teachers and faculty to encourage physical well-being while also enriching their minds through reading a book and, and are completing work for class with their Chromebooks. This resource will also provide an opportunity for those students who might not participate in extracurricular physical activities to maintain physical well-being. Plickers. Jessica Ryan, Rusty Jeffries Elementary School, $1,688. Funding will provide fourth grade teachers the opportunity to implement plickers effectively in the classroom to enhance learning opportunities and engagement for all. Plickers is an interactive tool that is used within the classroom to collect real-time data on formative assessments. The program was created by a teacher and provides students with an interactive approach to assessment. Students use plicker cards to respond to teacher-prepared questions Plickers is an effective tool in the classroom and provides students with the opportunity to respond in an engaging way. The Self Project, Social Emotional Learning to Help the <coughs> Self. Joanna Martin, Social Services, 4900. The goal of the Self Project is to foster a supportive foundation which promotes social and emotional competencies for adults and children and students. Social emotional skills are essential for students to thrive in school and in the world. The Cell Project provides an innovative approach to promote the five competencies of social emotional learning self awareness, self management, social awkwardness, or awareness, relationship skills, and responsible decision making. Support for delivering SEL content will be provided in two ways. On a larger level, elementary schools will be given mindfulness bins which contain lessons and resources on mindfulness for teachers to easily implement mindfulness related activities into the classroom. In addition, there'll be a focus on one classroom to pilot a more intensive option. The Self Project combines an evidence-based curriculum and restorative practices as well as a teacher self-care support system to ensure that teachers are confident and able to successfully deliver a high-quality high SEL instruction, supporting the teacher and providing encouragement for self-care is the most critical, critical aspect of the project. Big Boys into Gentlemen. And hope, helping others pursue excellence. Shane Goodwin, E. Wilson Morrison Elementary School, $5,650. The project will instill leadership and service qualities in fourth and fifth grade students that will be uh, positively uh, contributing to the local community and beyond. The goal for the project is to provide at risk fourth and fifth graders, both boys and girls, with a roadmap for successful, a successful future in our community and beyond. The program for girls is called Helping Others Pursue Excellence, and the boys program is called BIG. Uh, the project aim is to introduce students to opportunities that provide leadership development, emotional support systems, career exploration, <coughs> networking opportunities, and community service opportunities. Customized project line in a school store, Richard Gardner, Warren County High School, $6,000. This project will have students participate in a work-based learning experience through applications a school-based enterprise, a school store. 
uh, by purchasing a roll and direct to garment printer, uh, the Warren County High School DECA school based enterprise will be able to custom print school, club, and team apparel and closet accessories. This will enable marketing students to explore and learn marketing concepts such as project development, promotion, distribution, product acquisition, financing, and pricing through a hands on approach. Further, CTE and workplace readiness skills such as demonstrating creativity and innovation, demonstrating critical thinking and problem solving, demonstrating customer service skills, collaborating with team members, financial responsibility and technical and production skills required of workers within an industry or organization. And last two, uh, next one is reducing the ecological footprint of Warren County. Uh, Kara Llewellyn, Warren, uh, Skyline High School Green Team, $3,000. This project will provide every Warren County kindergarten <coughs> student with an organic, fair trade, reusable grocery bag and a true storybook about an animal that has suffered due to human plastic waste in our waterways. Mm -hmm. providing, by providing the organic, fair trade, reusable bags, we hope to encourage students and their families to make a shift in, to a more environmentally sustainable way of shopping. Plastics in the ocean and our bloodstreams are problems we can try to help solve by effective communication about the issues collaboration among students, the school system, and local businesses. And lastly, um, patient care technician, Jane Baker, Blue Ridge Tech Center, $10,000. This project will provide nurse assistant students additional training <coughs> to become certified patient care technicians, certified phlebotomy technicians, and certified EKG technicians. Patient care technician will be offered as an occupational course after the completion of the nurse aid at the 12th grade level. It emphasizes the study of nursing occupations as related to the healthcare systems. Students will study normal growth and development, simple body structure and function, and medical terminology and will be introduced to microbes and disease. Upon completion of the course, students will master skills performing uh, EKGs, basic medical lab and exam procedures, drawing blood, and providing basic case, patient care. Students will be eligible to take the national uh, certification exams to become a certified lobotomy technician, certified EKG technician, and certified patient care technician. In closing, the Warren County Educational Endowment feels a compelling commitment to our mission of helping local school system by supporting um, high level and creative programs for our children. The public school system has to continue to make difficult decisions in dealing with your budget and needs our support now more than ever. With these 10 grant awards that we're announcing this evening, we feel we've been able to give a spark to creative thinking and continue to encourage the spread of use of technology and also to some of our trade programs to help students out. On behalf of the endowment, this time I would like to ask Chairman Bauer, uh, Assistant Superintendent Shepard, to come down and so that I and the other members of the endowment can present you with a check representing the total amount of grant award. If the uh, endowment board members will please come up here, please join us. Take the opportunity to thank the Warren County Educational Endowment for all they do. Without your support for our schools, um, our students wouldn't have all of the extra advantages that you all have offered to them. So our students have definitely um, gained a lot of what you have to offer, as well as our teachers and the rest of the staff. So thank you so much. Recognition of retired school board members.
I would like to um, read some resolutions. And before I do that, I just want to thank both Mrs. McKeithrin and Mr. Rosen for their service to the Warren County Public Schools and their service on the board. Um, our students have definitely made a lot of the presence in your home, so thank you. And Mrs. McKeithrin, we want to stand up and do this. <laughs> Whereas Mrs. McKeithrin has served as the South River District Representative on the Warren County School Board since January 1, 2016, and whereas Mrs. McKeithrin has always been mindful of the interests and needs of the students of Warren County Public Schools and has worked tirelessly to advance those interests and needs, and whereas Mrs. McKeithrin has been a longtime supporter of Warren County Public Schools and its varied programs, including serving as a judge for the Future Chefs Competition, and whereas Mrs. McKeithrin was instrumental in initiating and completing the long-needed renovation of Ressie Jeffries Elementary School. Now, therefore, be it resolved, we, the members of the Warren County School Board, express our deepest appreciation to, to Donna L. McKeithrin for her service on the Warren County School Board. Adopted in Front Royal, Virginia, this fourth day of December, 2019. has served as a Shenandoah District Representative on the Warren County School Board since October 23, 2014, and whereas Mr. Rosen has been a longtime supporter of Warren County Public Schools, and whereas Mr. Rosen has always been mindful of the interests and needs of the students of Warren County Public Schools and has worked tirelessly to advance those interests and needs, and whereas Mr. Rosen has provided outstanding leadership and guidance as a member of the building committee overseeing the construction and renovation of multiple school facilities, all completed under budget and on time. Now, therefore, be it resolved, we the members of the Warren County School Board expressed our deepest appreciation to C. Douglas Rosen for his service on the Warren County School Board. Adopted in Front Royal, Virginia, this fourth day of December, 2019. Clemson University. Yes, sir. No, no, no. Warren County Public Schools. Oh, you did too well. The big scotch line. Yes. Yeah. Recognition of retiring superintendent L. Gregory Drescher. I'm going to go down here for that. <laughs> Get away from me. Do you want him facing you all? No. No? <laughs> Whereas Mr. Drescher has served as superintendent of Warren County Public Schools since July 2015, and whereas Mr. Drescher has served as a teacher, assistant principal, principal, director of instruction, administrator support, and assistant superintendent of Warren County Public Schools since 1987, and whereas Mr. Drescher was instrumental in leading the division in ensuring that more students in Warren County Public Schools were given the opportunity to access, to access instru yeah, instructional programs, and whereas Mr. Drescher championed a clear division, mission with high expectations, provided leadership and instructional programs at all levels, and promoted positive community and family partnerships. Now, therefore, be it resolved, we, the members of the Warren County School Board, express our deepest appreciation to Ella Gregory Drescher for his dedication to Warren County Public Schools. Adopted in Front Royal, Virginia, this fourth day of December 
mornings for meetings yeah. and kept yeah. me yeah. updated on everything. And um, I, I just value everything you've done for us. <coughs> you're the person. No. Love, you, love you dearly. No. It's been a privilege. It truly has serving Warren County. Um, I've gotten to work with wonderful people um, at all levels. You know, as a teacher, I work with great teachers. You know, as an assistant principal, I work with great teachers. As a principal, I work with great teachers. <laughs> uh, I work with teachers uh, all along, good administrators. Uh, the leadership, not only in the school system, but the county, has done wonderful things for the children here. And they're very fortunate that uh, such a good group has been here. And it truly has been a blessing to work with you guys. So thank you very much. Yeah. Consent agenda. Is there a motion for the consent agenda? Madam Chair, I move we accept the consent agenda as written. Second. <laughs> All those in favor, aye. 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 Motion carries. Reports. Instruction report. Emergency Medical Technician Academy. Mrs. Baker. I'm extremely proud to present two students to the board tonight. I have with me also, I guess I'll call her my partner in crime, <laughs> but this is Brenda, Brenda Deal, who is a representative of the Warren County Fire and Rescue. These young people are here because they have made choices in their educational career to give back to this community and to this county. On my left is Ashley Foster. Over a year ago, Ashley took it upon herself to enter the EMT training. This is something that she, as an individual, with the support of her parents, chose to do, to take time out of her summer to attend the training and to go through the hard work of testing, not only statewide, but to enter into the National Registry. Ashley is also a student at Blue Ridge Tech Center, where she is completing her third year in the biomedical program. I can't thank her enough, nor can I praise her enough, for what it took to take on the initiative to enter into such a program of her own accord. On my right, I have Seth Mills. Seth is a wonderful person who chose happily to join us in our first year at the Lord Fairfax Community College um, EMT Academy. This is a partnership that we in Warren County entered in with Lord Fairfax Community College and with Warren County Fire and Rescue in order to provide to our students the training in order to become EMT certified. Seth is with me because he has just completed his National Registry test. He is the first graduate uh, to complete the entire process to become EMT basic certified. So Seth, congratulations. Ms. Deal would like to speak. I'm here tonight on behalf of uh, Fire Chief uh, Richard Maybe to recognize these two uh, young responders. They are active in their stations and they are the wave of the future. We are seeing a lot of young people becoming interested in serving as volunteers. And whether or not they go on to be um, career uh, firefighter EMTs or not, they've had the experience of what it's like to give back to their community and perhaps in the future uh, will continue to do so as a volunteer. Uh, I have a couple of things I'd like to give. Um, uh, this is just the beginning. Um, 
when you're in fire and rescue, uh, everything's about your education. And you get, uh, we call it the Love Me Books. And that's a, a notebook where you continue to put your educational certificates because this is not the end. Achieving EMTB status is merely the beginning of the amount of study that they'll be doing. And so, Ashley, I present you with your very own uh, training manual. You have uh, inside, you'll see there are blank pages. I've got a little, just keep filling in there, or you continue to uh, take your CEUs and do your additional training. We hope you become a firefighter uh, too soon. And uh, Seth, we've got one for you. So you can keep all your training in there. But what I really want to give you tonight is um, from the chief. He issued um, two challenge coins for me to, to bestow tonight. And if you're not familiar with a challenge coin, they were very popular in the military. Nobody really knows exactly where the tradition started. But they started um, minting these coins. And when someone did something beyond the call, heroic, or they've done a, a job well done, uh, they're issued a coin. Um, and and they keep these. Now, you can get a bunch of coins, you can buy them as fundraisers, but the ones that mean the most to you, the ones that you keep in front of you, are the ones that were issued to you for something that you did. And the chief feels that these two, uh, as students in, in high school and getting their National Registry certifications, have gone above and beyond what most young people are doing. And so, Ashley, I will issue you this on behalf of the chief. Thank you. You're welcome. And Seth? There you are. Thank you so much for your uh, time and talent, and we hope that uh, you'll continue volunteering. Thank you. Before y'all sit down, I just have a couple of questions. Um, are you junior, seniors? Where are you in school? Senior, senior, senior. senior. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what are your plans for the future? Um, I'd like to go to school to get my paramedic. I'm looking to go get into nursing. See where it takes me from there. Now, how how many hours a week, or do you do? But a lot of time to your EMT services? I don't know. I try to go there a couple times a week at least. And that doesn't appear with your studies? <laughs> <laughs> See, they're honest too. <laughs> <they're honest. laughs> I just commend you on uh, our motivation and uh, your desire to help others. Yeah. We're seeing a lot of uh, students interested if they have a medical career path. They're finding that as they volunteer as teenagers and get a background, that gives them a leg up. Oh, that gives them the practical experience, the things to put on their resumes. And so that's why the conception of these programs are, is a good idea. Uh, because we have motivated young people who want to figure it out and get a, a, a good jump start. So uh, we're, we're very blessed here in Warren County for this program. Thank you. Thank you for coming out tonight. It's unfortunate sometimes that those people that need to hear about these students and the things that they are achieving are not always here and available to hear. Um, what I would like to share is that currently we have four students that are going through the EMT Academy at Lord Fairfax and doing extremely well. We have 23 students that are in our nurse assistant program and the goal is for the patient care tech and I can never thank endowment enough for that money is that next year we will have 10 students that will go through that program. So the health and medical science um, pathway in Warren County is doing extremely well. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Mr. Rosen and Ms. Vicki Drain for serving on the school board for the last um, several years. Um, it has been our pleasure to work with them. Um, they've been nothing but great partners in our education. <coughs> and I would like to um, wish Greg a great retirement. Um, he has been, it's been my pleasure to work with him for the last uh, 22 years. So um, thank you for your guidance and your leadership. So, the county administrator has graciously arranged a swearing-in ceremony for incoming elected officials 
um, with Judge Sharp performing the ceremony. The ceremony is Wednesday, December the 18th at 4 p.m. Um, if our um, newly elected board members would like to participate in the swearing-in ceremony, they should let me know. Where's that going to be? Um, at the courthouse. <coughs> It's a busy time of year. Um, Ms. Henry, our administrative assistant, has compiled a list of activities that is in front of you. So if you have the opportunity to attend any of these act activities, I would, um, I would encourage you to do so. We would like to express our gratitude to the Warren County Education, Educational Endowment. They have been a great partner um, to our school system over the last many years. They've allowed us to implement innovative programs for the benefit of our students, and we appreciate that. The Rusty Jeffries Elementary School Chorus will be performing at the Board of Supervisors meeting on December the 10th uh, at 9 a.m. So if you are available during that time, please come and attend. Um, it's always a fun time. I would like to congratulate the art program at Warren County High School for their Dare to Be Digital Award for their, um, contributions to the Youth Art Month for the Virginia Department of Education. And we would like to thank Cargill Meats for their generous donation of turkeys for our students. For the last um, three years, Cargill has been a great partner for our school division. That's all I have. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Board reports. Mr. Williams. Yes, Madam Chair. Uh, well, first of all, thank Ms. McKeitha, Mr. Rosen for your service. We appreciate it. You will be missed. Uh, Mr. Drusher, thank you for what you've done for the school system since 1987. Wow, long time. Thank you. Congratulations on your retirement. Enjoy it. Uh, the next thing, we spent a couple days in uh, Williamsburg. I think it was like the 20th, 21st, uh, going to class. Very informative this year, I thought. Brought a lot of things back that uh, I think were helpful to all of us. Uh, I wish Mr. Harper was still here so he could have heard Ms. Baker talk about all of our programs that we do in, in, in our small building, but uh, I don't know what the, uh, the price per square foot, I don't know what that value can be put on that building and for the people we turn out. I wish Mr. Mills and Ms. Foster hadn't left already because I saw he had company three on, but I couldn't her hair was covering her little thing, so I don't know what company she runs out of. But, you know, those two, I'll say children, uh, young adults, I mean, that, that shows you what Warren County produces. And uh, I'm very proud of them. I don't know them personally, but I'm very proud of them. Uh, and Mr. Stanley, thank you for the, uh, the continued support for the endowment. It's uh, good for our schools. It's good for our students, which is most important. And I uh, look forward to a new year. Mr. Rosen. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank you all for letting me stand in the background and help with the uh, school system. It's been very, very enlightening. Uh, I believe we have fantastic employees, good managers, great managers. Um, it's just been a lot of fun, a lot of things to go through. And, Sometimes they float away from you and you forget some of them. When you sit down, you go through a lot of benefits. Um, the one thing I did want to do is ask Tim if he'd run up for a second. Would you, do you have a minute? Just come through. <laughs> Tim has a way of putting together uh, purchases of information technology, et cetera, et cetera. And he's always got 500,352 cents. I've asked him several times, and I usually point out to him at board meetings, have you done that? I mean, why don't you just round it up and you pick up a bunch of money? Well, I know he doesn't want to do that. He wants to report it clear, transparent. So here's a quarter, since I'm not going to do We're going to spend this next week. Next week. <laughs> <laughs> that all yeah. That's it. Okay, thank you. Ms. McEvram. Oh, that's a hard act to follow right there. You don't have four, do you? I don't have four. Um, I would like to 
take this opportunity to thank um, all of the supporters that voted for me four years ago and allowed me this honor and privilege to sit before you guys and serve on this school board. I want to thank the board, Ms. Shepard, Mr. Drescher, for your support and your friendship. Um, it has been greatly appreciated and, and much needed. Um, But I'm going to miss you guys. Mr. Wells. Um, first of all, thanks to the endowment, as always. Um, they Sometimes when, when we do have budgetary constraints and that type of thing, we, as much as we'd like to, we can't allow for innovation or for we like to try this. And uh, that's what you guys provide so much of. The, the, the teachers have the thought process that they can come up with an idea and there is funding for it. And several of the programs that you funded have continued on for, for many years and we've been able to fund them because they've proven themselves. And we appreciate it. We appreciate everybody who takes part in it and we appreciate the, the teachers for contributing to the, to the endowment and to all the employees who who contribute to the endowment. Uh, Greg, you know, you, you've had a career that uh, not many people can say they've had, and you've served the students and the citizens of Warren County exceptionally well in your time. And, uh, we appreciate it so much, and we hope that you do enjoy a long and healthy retirement. Don, you, the resolution kind of took away my thunder because <laughs> you were a warrior for Ressa Jeffries and uh, you, you saw it through and you, you see the results of what you've done. You were great. Scarecrow, I may miss you the worst. Uh, <laughs> you know, you've been, a, you've been a, a friend and a mentor. You. Uh, Foolishly gave me my first job in Front Royal, and uh, now things have come full circle, and I get to say goodbye to you for a second time, unfortunately. But uh, you have a long and, and healthy retirement as well. You've served this board very well. Your 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 ability with figures and your ability to, to know the the nuts and bolts of construction have have been a major help to us. So I thank you. Um, I just also want to thank Doug. I've uh, known Doug for many years. Uh, he was my husband's boss at the hospital for many years. And, uh, that goes back a ways. I got to know Donna through her service on the school board. And I've had some good times going to the conferences and carrying on in the car. <laughs> you have video? The conversations. Do you have any video? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> So thank you both. And Greg, uh, it's, it's been a real pleasure and honor to work with you the past how many years? Uh, five and a half years as, as superintendent, but before that too. So thank you. Enjoy all that fishing I know you're going to be doing. Um, and that's all I have to report. Thank you. Action agenda. Approval of additional early childhood special education teachers. Mr. Hirsch. Madam Chairman, Ms. Shepard, uh, it's always great to have an opportunity to speak with you. I, I stand before you today to, to have this good news. Our, our preschool, um, our early childhood special education, and our Virginia preschool initiative numbers are, are really increasing. Um, what that means is, however, we have to, to support that in a variety of ways. And we've done that through the uh, Virginia preschool initiative grant. However, there are a, a significant number of students with disabilities that are being identified, um, that are identified and are being identified, that are forcing us to um, ask you to prove an additional early childhood special education teacher um, to support those efforts. Um, not only will this uh, early childhood special <coughs> education teacher um, uh, meet our caseload requirements of case management, but it'll allow us to open up another special education preschool classroom at Skyline High School in, in the afternoon. 
So we use that program for bright beginnings for three hours in the morning, and this teacher will be working with all the other teachers in the morning at the various preschools um, in, the, in, in our division, but that program in the afternoon will be a new program for additional students to be um, supported in. So it will give the community another opportunity to have another additional preschool in our, in our community. Uh, this funding will be um, through staff turnover. Um, and we've, we've researched it very, very carefully and, and it's, you know, it's not likely that we ask you for this, <coughs> but we do ask. Any questions? So that, program, that program has grown the last two years just unbelievably. I mean, and it's a great program. I'm, I'm glad to see it. But I've read everything that he's put out and I have nothing. Uh, Mr. Williams, I would be remiss if I didn't um, acknowledge Jenny Donovan, who's our family, en family engagement coordinator and, and runs our preschools. And she's here tonight, so I just wanted to give her a shout out while she, she was here. Because I was searching for that name and, and I apologize because I don't know what she looks like or who she is, but I've had a couple people ask me about who is this lady that, that goes out and gets all the children. So thank you very much. I hear good comments throughout the community, and, and that's all. Awesome. Thank you. Someone like to offer a motion? I'll offer a motion, Madam Chair. I move that an additional early childhood special education teacher at an estimated cost of $65,423 be approved for the current school year. A second. All those in favor, aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. Acceptance of Cargo Incorporated turkey donation. Mr. Hirsch. As Ms. Shepard mentioned earlier, we have the, the, the great partnership with Cargo Meats um, in Mount Jackson, Harrisonburg area. Um, and they, they increased the number of turkeys to be donated to us this year to 125. Um, and we support all of our families and our non-traditional programs and at a variety of the schools that ask for them to be able to have them um, have a free turkey for the holidays. Um, it's catching on like wildfire. People love it. Um, getting ready to send, a, send thank you letters and, and a copy of the great uh, newspaper article. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that was um, that, uh, that was Northern Virginia, Northern Virginia Daily did. So we're really excited um, to, to accept this donation and support our families and we look forward to many years in the future of working with Cargo Meats. I read a nice article. I think one of the students was so excited about getting the turkey because she said otherwise they would not have one for the holidays. So that's real nice. Is there a motion? Madam Chair, move that the donation of 125 turkeys to support at risk Warren County students by Carbon Incorporated accepted with gratitude. Second. All those in favor, aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. These are Virginia Tech turkeys. Well, they were not Virginia Tech turkeys. <laughs> Acceptance of donation, Mrs. Shepard. Thank you. United Reynolds made a generous donation to the automotive welding and carpentry classes at Blue Ridge Technical Center of shelving, non-flammable cabinets, and containers to hold welding cylinders. It is recommended that this donation be accepted with gratitude. Madam Chair, I move the donation by United Reynolds of shelving, non-flammable cabinets, and containers to hold welding cylinders to Blue Ridge Technical Center be accepted with gratitude. Second. All those in favor, aye. 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 Motion carries. See, things, things like this, and the Warren County Educational Endowment, the turkey donation, and the supplies, you know, we couldn't do it without the help from others in this community. And not even in this community. Fargo isn't even in uh, our county. So that's great. Uh, set date and time for 2020 organizational meeting. Mrs. Shepard. Thank you. Warren County School Board Policy File BCA School Board Organizational Meeting requires that an organizational meeting be held in January of each year. One of the actions to be taken at that meeting is to establish the regular meeting schedule for the year. This meeting would normally be held the first Wednesday in January. However, the first Wednesday is January the 1st, which is New Year's Day. It is recommended that the organizational meeting be set on Monday, January 6, 2020, at 7 p.m. Discussion. That works with everyone's schedules. Yes. 
January 6th, correct? January 6th, Monday. At 7? At 7. Or 5 7. That's for the work session. 7. Okay. Okay, what's on the lockdown for a motion on that? Motion. Madam Chair, the 2020 organizational meeting be held on Monday, January 6, 2020, at 7 p.m. Board meeting room at the Warren County Government Center. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor, aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Uh, discussions by school board. There is a VSBA conference, capital conference, uh, January 13th and 14th. If anyone is interested in attending that, please let Mr. Valentine know. Is there any further business? No, ma'am. Meeting adjourned. Everyone have a good holiday season.